October brings all sorts of creepy creatures out of the streets and here in Arkansas that includes some with eight legs. A fair warning to anyone squeamish. Five News reporter Jose Carranza shows us how some folks are spotting the spiders. It's humongous. Lori Gold of Farmington says her family was out enjoying the day when they came across something spooky. Husband noticed uh, something moving in the driveway and he looked and it was the tarantula and it kind of ran up underneath his pickup truck. And then he got a fly swatter and was trying to kind of get it out of there so he could kind of relocate it. The boys love critters and everything, creepy and crawly, so I was right up their alley. It's something they haven't seen in the five years they've lived in northwest Arkansas. We used to see them all the time in central Arkansas, but not here. University of Arkansas entomologist Austin Jones says he became interested in tarantulas as a student here in 2007. He explains that the Ozarks is the furthest east and north that a tarantula native species can be spotted, all because of the habitat. But in Arkansas, Glade is an area where the bedrock comes very near the surface, and so you don't have much soil on top of it. And so what that means is that soil gets very dry in the summertime, which is when tarantulas are raising their young. Fitting for spooky season, males travel in October for mating season, but it's a rarity to see many in northwest Arkansas, which Jones says is because of the heat. I think that that could have a factor playing into it, and I think that the fact that it's been so dry could be playing into that a little bit too. It's going to open up new habitats that they can utilize because they like that hot, dry stuff. Dad, be careful. While their fangs and irritating hairs could be of concern. They really don't pose any danger to residents at all. Jones considers any encounter with a tarantula his lucky day. You're seeing something that has survived a long time. It's eaten a lot of bugs, a lot of pests along the way to get there. In Farmington, covering news where you live, Jose Carranza, 5 News. <laughs> I know they do good, but can you imagine that one on your neck? Whew. Joan says it is best to leave the spiders alone, but if you must move one, grab a bucket like you saw in that video or containers with a flat piece of cardboard. Once inside, you can flip the bucket and then relocate the spider. Matt? Tarantula on your neck? What no, do you think? No? Absolutely. <laughs> Aren't they the ones there? I guess their mouth are so small, like they really can't. Is that the one that really can't bite you too much? I, I'll be honest, I don't know. I <laughs>